today we're going to talk about gay people and people's attitudes toward them and how I feel about it, I suppose. And uh, I will start with the fact that people always focus on sex between uh, a gay couple. I find that interesting. Uh, it's like they don't do anything else, so they don't have any sort of life, other than the fact that they just run around having sex with each other because that's all they do. Uh, obviously that's not true because that's not what everyone else does. And uh, I guess people immediately fear the idea of, of, of that, so they focus on that. And uh, it's just not true. Uh, uh, people are worried that the that like especially men are gonna run around if if they're gay they're gonna run around and somehow just always come on to you and grab your butt or something. Uh, do women run around and, and and constantly come on to you all the time? No, probably not. And uh, even if a man did come on to you, uh, and you're a man of course, then I'm sure as soon as you told them you weren't interested, that would be the end of it. Um, they're not gonna somehow turn you gay. Uh, through their gayness. You're not just going to turn gay. That's a silly idea. Uh, it's fear and ignorance. And concerning relationships uh, between the two gay people, uh, I can actually understand why a man would want to be with a man and a woman would want to be with a woman, simply because men and women are different. And uh, I'm sure men get along better with men, and and women get along better with women. Uh, they probably have a lower divorce rate. I haven't done any statistics on this, but I, I probably should. Uh, people will be also uh, focused on the fact that they can't have children. Uh, is this really a problem? <laughs> we have enough children in the world who need families. Uh, so these people, they're adopting. and They are helping children, uh, giving them a home when they don't have one, instead of just constantly adding to the problem. Uh, people just need to stop breeding anyway. Then, of course, there's the simple fact that their lifestyle is not even hurting anyone. Um, it's not hurting you. It's not, it's not hurting anyone else. Um, they don't actively seek to hurt people. Uh, people who are homophobic do. They go out and they commit violent acts. They protest. They try to interfere with these people's lifestyle, uh, making their lives difficult. And uh, it's not fair to them. So they're not hurting you. Oh, why hurt them? And then, of course, there's the old, they're destroying the sanctity of marriage. Uh, yeah, that's God's ideas, and we all know that God's not real. Well, at least most of us do. And, uh, it's really not fair to those people, simply because in states where they cannot be married, it makes it more difficult for these people to be together, uh, financially. Uh, society makes it hard for these people to live. We all deserve the same rights. Um, it's just fair. It's humane. It's what should be done. 